is Ronald Nicholas. I'm a here in Harris County hearing officer. You know, to hear accused of an offense against the laws of the state, you have the following rights. The right to remain silent. To hire a lawyer of your choice. You can have an attorney present for interviews. You might have a peace officer or attorney representing the state. You can terminate such an interview at any time. You are not required to make any statement, but anything you say in custody can be used against you. If you cannot afford an attorney, you have the right to request one's help. If you believe you're going to need such help, you tell me that when you come forward and I will inform you of court. When you get up to court, you'll fill out some documents, and one of them will be an affidavit about your finances. You have a chance to speak with an attorney that day if you qualify for help. The procedure you're here for right now is called probable cause. When your name is called, you come to the red box on the floor and I will tell you what you have been accused of. The assistant district attorney here will give you the facts regarding your being arrested. If I find that there is probable cause to detain you, I set bond in your case. If you're not granted bond, I'll tell you why. <coughs> if no probable cause is found, you'll be released. And if you are detained, I'll see if you're eligible for a personal bond. I'll tell you the court you're assigned to and the judge you're going to see. If you don't bond out of jail, you'll be in court on Monday morning. If you are arrested on an open warrant or a felony indictment, you will not hear probable cause till you go to your trial court. After your case is over, you go to your left and follow the instructions the bailiffs give you. Does everyone understand their rights and what we're going to do here this morning? Speak up, please. Come up when you hear your name. Stephanie Keith. The individual was identifying himself as Chris. Um, apparently, they had been. Um, Lante Young. And he has a co defendant on one of his aggravated robberies, Ross White Leonard. White Leonard, step up. Mr. Young, you are charged with aggravated robbery. Daily weapon three cases. Mr. White Leonard, you charged with aggravated robbery one case, felonies both. So the first one is the case in which their co defendants are on. It's from March 17th, 2016. Officers, tactical units were investigating a crew of robbery suspects. They were mainly focusing on Lante Young. Um, they followed him um, to a parking lot. He left his vehicle and got into a Dodge Caravan with four other suspects. They continued their surveillance and followed him. Um, they made stops at several other places, and they ultimately uh, went over to a um, affordable furniture store on the Gulf Freeway. Um, officers had briefly lost sight of them, but when they got to that affordable uh, furniture store, none of the suspects were in the vehicle, which made them think that they were possibly in the commission of a robbery at that time. So they got, um, officers went, um, and as they pulled up and were setting up in the parking lot, um, the suspects exited the store and began shooting at officers. Um, officers observed them fleeing. They were armed. Um, three of the suspects um, were shot. One, identified as Ross White Leonard, actually surrendered to officers once the shooting began. Um, after the shooting stopped, they searched the area they, um, there was a white box truck where a complainant had been unloading mattresses from. Inside the back of this box truck, they found Young, a pair of black gloves, a black jacket, and a mask. Um, the complainant identified Young as one of those persons that had threatened him with a gun and removed his 
wallet and phone. The uh, young um, also had $3,421 on his person. So um, that's that first aggravated robbery that they're both a part of. Um, there are two additional charges on Young. One of these is from March 9th, and one of them is from February 13th of this year. Um, on the March 9th case, four males enter wearing masks and gloves entered a Cash America Pawn store over on Jensen. One of the males was armed with a gun, assaulted the complainant, while the remaining three demanded cash and jewelry. Um, <coughs> they got a Crime Stoppers tip implicating Young as one of the males involved in the case. Um, they then contacted the court to see if he had an ankle monitor because he's currently on bond for an aggravated robbery. They were able to get, um, ultimately able to get the data that shows the GPS data from the time and location of this robbery and that the defendant was present at that location, um, that which corroborates the Crime Stoppers tip. The February 13th, 2016 robbery was over at Lockwood um, at an O'Reilly Auto Parts stores. Two males wearing masks and gloves ran into the store yelling for everyone to lie on the ground, told um, the complainant to open the registers and give them money. They were armed. They left in a white vehicle. Um, they actually, a vehicle was um, left behind. There was a canvas bag found inside of the vehicle that was stolen from a different robbery. A co-defendant had been arrested in that different robbery after being identified during an interview, gave up. Uh, LaMontre said that during this robbery, that he was across the street in a silver Lexus watching the robbery and giving instructions. They were able to determine that the defendant, in fact, does have a silver Lexus and on the day of the shootout, actually drove his silver Lexus and parked before he got into the van. They also were able to link up the GPS data from his ankle monitor showing that right where that co-defendant said he was, he was parked right on the street at the side of the business and was there for about 10 minutes, which was about how long the entire robbery took. Probably cause it's fine to hold both of you in these cases. Mr. White, your bond is $30,000. You're going to court 339. The judge there is named Maria Jackson. Would you be hiring your own attorney seeking help? Go to your left, sir. Mr. Young, you have three cases against you. Your bond is zero since you already have something pending. One of your cases is assigned to court 339. The other two cases are assigned to court 209. I would suspect at some point all of these cases will wind up in the same court. The judge in the 209 is Mike McSpadden. The judge in 339 is Maria Jackson. Will you be hiring your own attorney seeking help in these cases, sir? Thank you, sir. Go to your left. Did you say Copeland? Yeah. Kenneth Copeland. Bond for you. You're going to be released and told when you're The judge you're going to see in that court is named Jan Crocker. Will you be hiring your own attorney or seeking help, sir? Have a seat where the bailiff tells you. 2016 in Harris County, Texas. Um, officers um, were investigating a robbery um, at a Magnolia's ice cream and more business. There was video surveillance um, that captured the robbery, showing a male suspect entering the business while holding and charging, um, pumping an ammunition round into the chamber, a chrome pump action shotgun. He then pointed it at a complainant who was an employee at the store. Um, at the time, during the robbery, um, about $709 was taken. Um, footage of this robbery was put on the news. A witness came forward who saw the defendant, um, had a conversation with the defendant, saying that the defendant said that he had been um, on the news. He even showed her a screenshot <coughs> of the news showing the um, video surveillance from the robbery that it was him. Um, then said, hey, delete that ASAP. Gave her details of where it had occurred and all of that kind of stuff. They got a pocket warrant for him based on all of this information. And he said, I'm not the only one who did this, no, was I, nor was I the only one who was assaulted. Probable cause is spot on 
hold you in a case, your bond is $30,000. You are assigned to court 183. The judge you're going to see up there is named Vanessa Velasquez. Will you be hiring your own attorney seeking some help, sir? Thank you. Go to your left. <coughs> Kendall Childs. Do what? Derek Jackson. Of assaulting a family member, a Mr. 